Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. I could engage in some clickbait behavior and tell you this is the most important idiom you'll ever learn and maybe get some more views. But I can't lie to you guys. So remember the idiom, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I'll teach you this useful and fairly common idiom and you leave a thumbs up and a comment. Pretty good deal. You are your own worst enemy, Commander. Meaning of the English idiom, your own worst enemy. To be your own worst enemy, or one's own worst enemy, is to act contrary to one's own best interests. To consistently cause yourself to fail. To do things that prevent you from being successful or liked. To be more harmful to oneself than other people are. If you are your own worst enemy, it is your own behavior that causes most of your problems. Usage Notes This idiom is often exaggerated and like most idioms, it should not be taken literally. It is a good way to point out, as I said before, that a person's behavior is what is causing most of their problems. It's sometimes used in an ironic way, the way I used it at the beginning of the video. Remember that the word is always worst, not worse. The idiom is a title of a 1999 hit song by the American rock band Lit. The song is about waking up in the morning and realizing that you did something crazy the night before. In other words, it's about screwing up and causing your own problems. Examples of use In school, I was my own worst enemy. I could have easily made straight A's by applying myself just a little bit more. People are their own worst enemy when they refuse to wear masks. You keep blaming other people for your problems, but the truth is, you're your own worst enemy. He lost the match because he was his own worst enemy. He let easy shots get by him. Origin of idiom This idiom has been used in English since at least the mid-1800s, but the sentiment behind it has existed for much longer. Being your own worst enemy is the moral of the Aesop's fable, the trees and the axe, or the wood and the clown. A woodsman came one day into a forest and looked about him as if in search of something. The trees, with a curiosity natural to some other creatures, asked him what he wanted. He replied, only a piece of wood to make a handle for my axe. Since that was all, it was voted unanimously that he should be given a piece of good, sound ash. He had no sooner received it and fitted it to his axe head that he began to lay about him and to hack and hew without distinction, felling the noblest trees in all the forest. Then the oak is said to thus have spoken to the beech, Brother, we must take it for our pains. The trees' good nature betrayed them. They were their own worst enemy.